when I started doing this 30 years ago, it was very unusual to see somebody who had um, um, type 1 diabetes um, who had lived 50 years, and now I see them all the time. While the evolution of medicine and techniques used to treat type 1 and 2 diabetes have come a long way, Dr. Margaret Daly with Rutland Regional Medical Center says genetics are still a major concern. The root cause of um, type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance. Um, insulin resistance is a, a growth hormone, so in people whose bodies naturally make more insulin than somebody else's, they're going to have a difficult time with losing weight. Daly says early screening is key, while others at the hospital work their way into changing habits of the patient's lives. Like Joanne LeMay, who's partnered with Community Health to host peer-to-peer -peer support groups for those with the disease. It's regardless of who you see as a provider, right? These are important um, management, self-management skills, everyone. And it shouldn't just be because you go there. And if someone's having a bad week, there's nothing like having someone right there that you've been sitting with for months to help you, um, to say, hey, I'm your cheerleader. Some of the main topics for the group are centered around nutrition and exercise. But the conversations around making changes are usually carried by the attendees. The unhealthy habit is gone, replaced with a healthier habit, and... You just keep moving on because then there's another habit that one wants to change. Providers with the hospital say having a strong supporting cast, both at the monthly groups or in everyday life, can make a big difference when it comes to battling the disease. Along with a partner, if you change together, there's more of a success rate, I feel. So being able to talk to other people who have gone through it and are walking through it at the same time um, gives a lot of moral support. Rutland Regional is hosting in-person diabetes peer-to-peer -peer support groups in partnership with community health partners throughout the county every second Wednesday of each month. For now, reporting in Rutland, Connor Ella Thorne, Channel 3 News.